Hello, this is the Bible in Fewer Words. We are Carol and Steve Wells. This is episode 86, Judges, chapters 4 and 5. If you enjoy this podcast, consider supporting us at patreon.com forward slash BFW. Hi, Steve. Hi, Carol. How are you this morning? Oh, I'm fine. Great. So we're moving on with Judges. Yeah. This is going to be a little different today. Okay. Our ah. heroes in this chapter are, can you think of what's different? These might be female heroes. They're women. Oh my gosh. Yeah. All the heroes really in this chapter are women. Hmm. Well, I guess heroes, <laughs> like biblical heroes, you know uh-huh. how that goes, right? <laughs> Not like... Uh... Not like yeah. Rosa Parks. Oh, well, yeah, not like that. <laughs> <laughs> and biblical heroes, there's always kind of a dark side, right? Yes. Yeah. All right, let's get started. Okay, chapter 4, verse 1. After Ehud died, the people did evil in the sight of the Lord. Okay, wait a second. This is the beginning of a cycle. We're yes. still going to continue with cycles. Oh, yeah. Okay. So God sold them to Jabin the king of Canaan, who oppressed them for 20 years. So God is selling his people again. He sold them again, this time to Jabin. And the strange thing about Jabin is that Jabin was killed by Joshua back in Joshua chapter 11. (laughs) Really? Yeah. And so he's been resurrected. I guess so. I don't know how (laughs) that works, but maybe it's another Jabin. Maybe. Yeah. This guy's the the king of Canaan. Yeah. I wonder if God gets a refund when he gets his people back after he sells them. No? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Verse 3. The Israelites cried out to God. Of course, you know, when they're oppressed for 20 That's years. That's what they do. Yeah. yeah. A woman named Deborah became the leader of the Israelites. She was a prophetess and a judge. All right. Well, that's kind of heroic. Yeah. That's pretty amazing, isn't it? Yes. Really is. She lived under a palm tree and everybody came up to her for judgment. Yeah. I wonder how she rose to fame. Yeah, it's this is this is pretty much all there is. I'm not leaving anything out here. So that's pretty that's all we know. I mean, there's more coming. There's a little bit, but not very much. All right. Deborah summoned Barak and said to him, Take 10,000 soldiers to fight Jabin's captain, Sisera. I will deliver him into your hand. So this is God said to... God speaking through Deborah. Okay. And Barak said, If you'll go with me, I'll go. But if you won't go with me, I won't go. All right. This is also pretty weird. That <laughs> it's he's... kind of a chicken shit, isn't yes, it? <laughs> yes. And Deborah said, I'll go with you. She didn't say, you chicken shit. <laughs> yeah. God will deliver Sisera into the hand of a woman. Another first. Yeah, it's kind of, it almost sounds like she's talking about herself, right? I'm going to go with you and he'll deliver, God will deliver him into my hand, the yeah. hand of a woman. But maybe it's something else because something else happens here. Oh, so Barak, Deborah, and 10,000 men went to fight Sisera. Was Sisera a guy? Yes. Okay. And God discomforted Sisera and all of his chariots with the edge of a sword. Okay, discomforted. That's a funny word. It is, and it's used a lot in the King James Version, and I don't really know how to translate it. Um, But I guess it's sort of like smite. Uh Uh-huh. Well, I would think more, make them uncomfortable. I think it's kill him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm pretty sure it's killed him. Okay, you're uncomfortable for a short while, and then you're dead. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, but Sisera escaped. Barak pursued Sisera's army and killed them all with swords. Not a single man among them survived. All right, so the people of... Sisera and J- uh, Jabin. Jabin. Where does Jabin yeah. live? Uh, they're uh, Canaanites. Oh, they're Canaanites. Okay. So now they're all dead. Yeah, now they're all dead. You'd think that would be kind of the end of the story, wouldn't you? Yes. 
Oh, so they are Canaanites, but they're not like all the Canaanites. No, and the, but the Canaanites have been pretty well wiped out. Back, like I was mentioning, <laughs> you know, they killed Jabin and they killed all of the Canaanites back just a few chapters ago. I mean, yeah. a, a little while back. So this is where Jabin gets killed twice. It certainly couldn't be more than just a couple hundred years or something. Mm-hmm. All right, so... We're at verse 17 then. Sisera fled to the tent of Jael, Heber's wife. Uh, so Sisera survived. Yeah, it's weird, isn't it? Cause, <laughs> Did it just say but, not a single one of them yeah, survived? Yeah, except for Sisera, I guess. Sisera, it's weird that Sisera would survive when all of his people, all of his soldiers were killed. Uh-huh. Unless he's kind of... Uh, a wimpy captain. Kind of little chicken shit like... Uh, <laughs> Like Barack, right? Like Barack. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, it sounds like he kind of ran away. Yeah. But then he came to the tent of Jael. And Jael is Heber's wife. And mm-hmm. We don't really we know. We don't know anything about Heber. We Hebrew. don't know Heber, Heber from Adam. <laughs> no. All I know about Heber is that there's a town in Arizona named Heber. Okay. So Jael went out to meet Sisera. And so what, I mean, she's she's friendly to him. She knows he's a bad guy or is he, is he a bad guy? No, he's. Well, yeah, I don't know. She just she just goes out to greet him, right? Yeah, <clears throat> and she says, "Sleep here and don't be afraid." When Sisera lay down in the tent, Jael covered him with a blanket. Well, that's nice. So yeah. Sisera said to her, "Please, c- can I have a drink of water?" Jael gave him a glass of milk and tucked him in. And Sisera said, "Stand in the door of the tent." If anyone asks, if any man is here, say no. Then Jael took a tent stake and a hammer and crept up to Sisera, who was fast asleep. She hammered the stake through his temples, fastening his head to the ground, so that he died. So she was not really a friend of Sisera's. (laughs) <laughs> no. She was friendly to him just to lure him in yeah, so she that, could... She's kind of treacherous, isn't she? Yes. And it's not even clear whether she's a, a you know, an Israelite or not, right? Uh-huh. We don't really know anything about her. No. So when Barak, who was pursuing Sisera, came by Jael's tent, Jael showed him Sisera with the tent stake through his temples. So God subdued Jabin the king of Canaan, and all the Israelites destroyed him. That is kind of a bizarre story. Yeah. So we're saying uh, Deborah is kind of a hero. She's a woman who's a leader. Yeah. And Jael, who's kind of fighting for her country. I guess. I'm not sure about that. She's killing this guy. I don't know whether she... Is an, an Israelite or, or what? Maybe she's angry at Sisera for letting all of his people die and he ran away. I think maybe we're trying to make much, much more out of this <laughs> than we can. All that we have here is what is said here is that she invited him in, uh-huh. gave him some milk, tucked him in, and then put a tent stake through his head. That's all we know. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that's enough. Uh-huh. Um. So, chapter 5. Then Deborah and Barak sang this song. We get to sing again? <laughs> this, this, I guess, is one of the oldest things in the Bible. One of the first things that were written. Huh. All right. So, um, let's see if there's any rhyme in it or reason. <laughs> well, you know, there, there won't be because I wrote it. Oh, you <laughs> wrote it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just summarizing what the actual song Says, and of course, the original song would have been in Hebrew. Yes. So probably any of the rhyming or the rhythm or anything is going to be gone. It's just in the my summary of it. And the, and this, by the way, it's a long one. You notice that it goes from at least from one to thirty-one, right? Yes. And I'm only giving you just a few of my favorite lines. Okay. Praise God for avenging Israel. The stars fought against Sisera. Jael. Is blessed above all women. Yeah, I thought that was Mary. Yes. Hail Mary, full of grace. Yes. The Lord is blessed art thou among women. And blessed is the fruit of thy womb. Jesus. Jesus. Yeah. Yep. 
but I don't know. We have a competitor here. Jessit is blessed among jail. women. Yeah. I mean, jail is blessed among all women. Uh-huh. She chopped off Sisera's head by pounding a stake through his temples. Sisera laid down at her feet and died there. Haven't they divided the prey to every man, a damsel or two? Yeah, I don't know what that's about, but I thought it was interesting. <laughs> so I guess maybe they're talking about the prey of the Canaanites when they killed all of the soldiers. Oh. And now every man is getting a damsel or two among the Canaanites. Great. That's my guess. So let all of your enemies die, O Lord. But let those who love God be like the sun who goes forth in his might. And there was peace for how many years? <laughs> forty. Forty years. Four zero. Forty years, yeah. ladies and gentlemen. Okay, that's it for today. Yeah. Those are kind of bizarre stories, and I have a lot of questions that go unanswered. Yes. We just don't know. No, we just don't know. Okay. <laughs> Thanks for sharing, Steve. Sure. Bye-bye. Bye.